These past few weeks, gaming has been an absolute clown fest with Microsoft and Xbox, Sony and PlayStation, with them shutting down everything, shutting down their studios, and also the forced DEI stuff, the woke stuff. We're gonna get down to that! Yes, we're gonna get down to that, but... I got a video that I want to share with you guys. We also got Cold Eastwood. Suckers are making mixtapes right now. We got a video that I want to show you guys as well. It is just not ending, guys. And to make the matter even worse, okay? Or to make it spicier before we make it worse. Cold Eastwood, one of the biggest Xbox fanboy ever. I, I mean, it's perfectly fine to be a fan or a fanboy. Hey, you do you. But, like, the point that I'm trying to make here is that it's kind of wild to now see even Cold Eastwood say that I think I would rather they just don't do interviews right now. <laughs> so uh, what he means by this is because there's an interview get that got done, which I'll uh, actually share with you in just a little bit. But guys, for this one, you need to fasten your seatbelts, okay? Because apparently Sam comes out, says Lamel, what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? Someone nuked Phil Spencer's camp in Fallout 76. Yeah that's going on right now this is what gamers are doing this is happening because of what xbox revealed recently and you think that's it you are wrong, wrong. my friend we're getting right into it like this video if you guys uh, don't want to see video game characters like that dislike the video if you want to see stunning and brave characters like Abby the Brock Lesnar, guys. Abby the Brock Lesnar. But roll it. Check this out. Xbox shut down four whole studios. Microsoft said that White Hose can suck toes. Whoa, CEO. Fiduciary duty. Looty box duty fruity like mad booty. Sony keep it real and altered the deal with a mukbang side of censored sex appeal. <laughs> Nigga, that's not very democratic. But brace for the yeah. static if you want to get dramatic. <laughs> Bloomberg Schreier said the cuts go higher and gaming's inspired a layoff desire. Acquisitions, canceled IPs, shut down studios, brand on its knees fable ugly stale avowed indie for a modern crowd. crowd phil spencer 343 Three. halo murdered viciously Vicious Lee. is it your destiny oh to suck me since i see your priorities diversity performative pandering fake artificial initial prejudicial sweet baby sacrificial on an altar of lies too late for cries you've earned recognition as the one they despise to the other studios brace for your demise this next part should come as no surprise Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh wow! Bro, like that is great! Guys, 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 bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Check this out, okay? So you're not gonna... I, I gotta show you the climax, guys. You're not ready for the climax there. But before you see it, I present to you Sarah Bond. So Sarah Bond comes out. Xbox president Sarah Bond responds to a question from Bloomberg's Dina about why Hi-Fi Rush Dev Tango Gameworks was shut down. Full interview here, but check this. Roll it. To Xbox gamers and to employees gamers. Is that, you know, one of the shuttered studios in particular just created a hit game, did really well on Game Pass in, in terms of engagement and won a ton of awards. I mean, shouldn't succeeding in that way ensure the future of, of a studio? You know, one of the things I really love about the games industry is it's a creative art form. And it means that the situation and what success is for each game and studio is also really unique. Like, there's no one size fits all to it for us. Uh -huh. um, um. And so we look at each studio, each game team, and we look at a whole variety of factors when we're yeah, faced yeah, with sort yeah. of making decisions and, and trade offs like that. Uh, but it all comes back to our long-term commitment to the games we create, the devices we build, the services, and ensuring that we're setting ourselves up to be able to deliver on those promises. Yeah, yeah, promises my ass, promises my ass. So she was asked, why y'all suckers have shut down Hi-Fi Rush Dev Team? And she responded with <laughs> that. And this is where the homie Colt Eastwood kind of came into play. The homie spitting facts right now. But guys, I don't think you're ready for this one. Check this. Roll it. Like, subscribe, and comment to push this out. And then remember when you comment that I can see how many of you are actually subscribed. Katie Joe Wright, seen here in a gaming is for everyone shirt, yeah. said, If you don't include intentionally, you will unintentionally exclude big words from the grifters known as xbox head of games for everyone and sustainability we'll see how sustainable things are in a big way 
Ironic okay. that this statement is the exact opposite <laughs> of the mentality held by... Yo, honestly, bro, Arrowhead did say a game for everyone is a game for no one. Yeah, facts. And look at them. They're, they're succeeding. Sony tried to, I mean, kill them, though, right? But ultimately, gamers spoke democracy, 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 democracy. You know, we had that, so a massive battle was won. But guys, there is more than that. Yay, wait for the climax there, boo boo. By Helldiver's developer, Arrowhead. Xbox has closed four studios following a series of whoopsie daisy sliding on a banana peel moments that spanned a decade. Under Phil Spencer, CEO. Xbox marketing is compelled to say things raise like, your hand. Raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games. No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. Yeah, yeah, You're unironically yeah. writing shit like this as Xbox marketing. Away with you, because things aren't divisive enough out here, with proud racists and chill gaming media refusing to actually report the news in its entirety, opting instead to protect the people harassing, targeting, and uttering phrases including, but not limited to, things like this from Paul Scott Canavan, and I quote, This is, this absolutely... is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up, end quote. Not unhinged at all. You know, gaming used to be my outlet when it was made as an entertainment kind of, you know, not an indoctrination tool or a vehicle for some asshole yeah. obsessed with identity politics. These lonely uglies that are weirdly interested and focused on poisoning. And e ever since they started pushing this heavy, the same goes for PlayStation and Xbox. I, I feel like that every big publisher is kind of like pushing for the, the woke stuff, the woke DEI. And I just don't understand. We talked about it previously. Like, this is different kind of stupid when they hire Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, first of all, they don't they don't like gamers. They hate gaming. They hate gamers, right? And uh, these studios, I, I don't understand that. Why? Why y'all suckers are putting in money in t towards your game, right? And you're putting money towards marketing. And then you're like wasting your money on hiring Sweet Baby Inc. who don't even care about gamers, who don't even care about gaming. They ultimately want your studio shutting down. We talked about it, right? Just a few weeks ago. And guess what happens? Studios get shut down. But what's shocking and why uh, a lot of people are upset here is because of Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, Xbox themselves said that it's our most successful IP ever, right? And then uh, we hear that they were apparently making Hi-Fi Rush 2. They told uh, Xbox that we're going to be making Hi-Fi Rush 2. Microsoft or Xbox don't know who, right? We, uh, how would I know? But apparently they have shut them down. They have shut them down. No, no Hi-Fi Rush 2 for you, motherfuckers getting kids to believe and view them exactly the way that they want to. And if it stopped there, some people unfortunately probably wouldn't care, but it had to go in the direction of sanitizing mature escapes with politically correct cringe. You know that safe, spinning, forgettable, shaving off all the edge, nothing. The shade of gray, the gruel, the slop that they somehow expect you to pay to consume. If your uh -oh. shills have told you that gaming is collapsing or crashing, remember who said no to that last time. Xbox, not unlike Sony, has a big problem with attractive women that don't bow to their progressive DEI standards. It is not focused on genuine inclusion. It seeks only to oust any and everything that it deems offensive, a list that gets longer every day. <gasps> this push unironically excludes and reduces the variety on offer, among many other things that alienate the audience who had long been faithful that could have been expected to keep buying so long as service was offered. Instead, you're providing less, demanding more, and instead of supplying the demand, you're trying to condition the customer yeah. into swallowing whatever pill you're trying to force on. Everything will turns to crap. Everything will turns to crap, and they're not learning anything at all. But Xbox's biggest issue is not just about like the woke stuff and the the DEI stuff. Yeah, of course, it has a problem. We talked about it previously, and uh, I'll say it again. Yeah, sure, it's a big factor. The reason is, is not that the game is woke or DEI. The reason is simple. They are hiring people that are not even good for the job, that are not even gamers, or at least they don't even understand gaming. Right? Uh, I, I heard this uh, that apparently Stellar Blade, uh, the the guy that made the game. He wasn't necessarily big on playing the game, but he was big and very passionate about creating the game. So you at least need one or over the other, or both would be absolutely beautiful. Like if you if you love making the games and you're also a gamer, that's what ultimately what we want. Uh, that's who we want to make these games, right? But when you just want to hire people that that are not even good 
at the job, right? Then obviously they're gonna have games like that. that, that ultimately, we're gonna see characters be stunning brave because Sony's hypocrisy is is just insane. And Microsoft as well. I mean, both of these companies. I play on PlayStation, but guys, come on now, man. Both are equally bad. One worse than the other. Right now, I have to admit, not trying to be a Sony pony shell here. Uh, we apparently clowned on Sony just few days ago, literally every single day, okay? You guys have been around, you know it, we clowned on Sony, uh, uh, deservingly and absolutely because they were doing crap like that, but let's be real, right now Sony is looking a little bit better than, than, uh, than Xbox. <laughs> In terms of their games right now, because Xbox, they got no games coming out right now. It's like, they have some games, uh, by the way, real quick, say hello to my brand man. That's my brand man from Starfield. Say hello, be nice, guys, be nice. Uh, uh, when you got Phil Spencer saying gaming for everyone, games are coming, guys, games are coming. And he says the same thing every year, and ultimately then just shut down the studio. And then in response, like, Xbox fans, gamers as a whole, right? They're not... <laughs> they're nuking Phil Spencer camp in Fallout 76 and ends up man ends up getting 89 89,000 likes and we have Cole Eastwood one of the biggest Xbox fanboy just responding with it because everybody had enough gamers from all walks of life had enough Sony ponies Xbox and to be honest it's quite beautiful to now see some Sony ponies and some Xbox Andy's kind of coming together as one and being the voice of reason I never thought we would see a day like this still there are some delusional fanboys and we need to have some delusional Bruh. we need to still have some delusional fanboys because otherwise we're not gonna have the salt though otherwise we're not gonna have the memes and it's gonna be like eh, still right like eh, you know what i'm saying so we still need the drama don't get me wrong i love the drama i love the drama but like I I i'm glad that some sony ponies and xbox andys are waking up right now what gaming has done as of late is nothing oh, short of no. advertise why a PC <clears throat> is definitely the preferable platform, and you should probably be looking into getting one of those right now. And I'm not joking, I am unironically directing you to my donation links in the description. I have an Amazon wish list down there. Go look at snatching something up or suggesting some parts that I should put on there, uh, or if I should just get a no fuss build because, you know, I'm a console slut, so if, if I, that's what I've been doing up until this point, hey, watch. Man, they just butcher. Oh my god, bro. Starfield and NPCs like, yeah, like, okay, bruh, I mean, bruh. Watching what happened to Halo at the hands of 343, then, you know, watching them get to keep their jobs, kind of sums up the slackers in gaming pretty well. Studios that are a husk of their former glory with freshmen and drifters enjoying the shade of the greatness that the passionate founders and talent erected. I don't know how to phrase how vomit-worthy the insinuation that Arcane was going to make another Dishonored is, but... If you can resist crapping your pants laughing long enough for me to remind you that Dishonored came out 12 years ago, then you should all no sooner expect the remaining rainbows at Rocksteady to make another Arkham game than you can your ability to lift your top or go to the roof and fly right now. You can't do it. So, yeah, if you guys want, we can watch the theater kids calling themselves games creators these days, sighing and acting out how mad gay are that the rhythm game that they really liked that probably didn't make as much as they think it did resulted in the studio being closed. Is it their fault? No. Is it my fault when I buy a game and it doesn't fucking work? No. Some of this shit been coming down. What, what did he say? Is it my fault when I buy a game and it doesn't fucking Yes, it is your fault. Fucking work? No. It is your fault! It is your fault! It is all your fault, damn it! It is all your fault! Gamers are wrong! Gamers are wrong! Wrong! Gamers are wrong. Some of this shit been coming- According to Microsoft and uh, Sony. Coming down the pipes. I'm no plumber. I just play <gasps> one in a Nintendo game. And when the fall is red enough, and the squad is sushi enough, you kind of expect something to come thereafter. Can it get more out of touch with humanity than demanding women not be exaggerated in their proportions and that men be portrayed more sensitive and sad or vulnerable in a fucking video game? Let's find out. Tarkov said, I'm the greediest. And then Sony said, I'm going to censor and then I'm going to do it again. Yeah. And now your grace <laughs> yeah. period is expired yeah. in a game that you're playing. And then Xbox pulled out a gun and shot the needle off the record. They just needed to stay silent, bro. Why you even try? Why do you even try? I believe Dr. Disrespect made a song. Uh, I don't know why I try anymore. I 
don't know why I cry anymore. He made a song like that, Bruh. right? Like something like that. Uh, excuse my singing uh, skills here. Like the video for that here. I guess that's the best you're gonna get. But like, they just needed to not say anything. They were doing so good. It's like first Sony has a, ha makes a big boo boo, and everybody's like, yo. Xbox 3, listen, 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 don't, don't say anything, bro, don't, we're near, we're near, we're gonna win the console war, damn it, don't say anything, damn it, don't say anything, they're like, hold my beer, son, hold my beer, <laughs> Sony cannot be the only one getting all the negative backlash with Stellar Blade, they cannot be the only one getting the backlash with Hell Divers, we need our cut, we need our, we need our <laughs> negative attention, we need it, and right now, they're getting it, I mean, they're getting it to the point where Sigas are, uh, nuking the nuking the Phil Spencer camp. I mean, I don't even know how long he took to make that camp <laughs> I don't even know bro. Like, uh, oh my god, so that's happening And I've also read some comments from you guys as well very few very few of you uh, are saying this and I've read like some comments on the other uh, Videos as well basically seconds are saying because stellar blade ultimately got censored and the way it got censored They removed the blood and gore part they have changed the costumes and, and try to hide the booba and die and I said it before and I'll say it again to me That's not a big deal though to majority of the people. That's not a big Bruh. deal. W wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it uh, Them like censoring a little bit of the the outfits to me not a big deal uh, but censoring the blood and gore, that's like a brat-ish part. Dog, like, why? The biggest thing, the biggest reason why uh, people are upset with it is because, number one, it's an 18 plus game, right? Number two, it's hypocrisy 101, right? When they got standing brave, I, I, I am strong, I am independent. When you got, when you got Sony making a man cheeks be pounded in 4K with ray tracing, 60 FPS and all that, that is apparently stunning and brave, that is fine. But this, brother, Ew, brother, ew, right? Of course, people are gonna be upset with it because you know it's it's not necessarily that they try to censor the outfits, it's more so about the fact that you're gonna allow this, but you're not gonna allow this. Since uh hence, not since, uh hints why people are calling them woke, right? This is uh where we kinda at at this point. I wanna know your thoughts for sure, but wait for it. Curtis hit one, <laughs> no, two, mm-mm, three. Fired in a game that you're playing, and then Xbox pulled out a gun and shot the needle off the record his head. One, no, two, mm -mm, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, four studios. Redfall, a literal example of what goes wrong with these games. That were they were gaslighting me for when it came out at the time, telling me, oh, I'm the death threater in the review bomber. We were saying, game passu unsustainable. We told you. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Oh, Yo, oh, I, I I just realized he's playing the uh, uh, the before patch version. <laughs> he's playing the uncensored uh, uncensored version of Stellar Blade because right now they have hit the the, the booba and all that. Won't have uh, underwater combat until Stellar Blade Two. Uh, a guy said in the comments there. And many more Kyle prophecies will come to pass. All the Starfield cope in the world couldn't save Xbox from reality. Please excuse my lack of interest in exploring the incompetence of their leadership. Yeah, you're I'm fine, unfortunately brother, you're fine, exposing bro. that devs are so hate-filled over something as simple as a picture like this that an appealing game is obviously outside of their, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we can't agree on what the definition of words that appear in a dictionary are when we're showing you the dictionary definition. And, and another one bite the bullet, bullet. Apparently, yeah, Tomb Raider, they, they kill Tomb Raider as well. Everything they touch is just like, what? Even, yeah, Tomb Raider, we made a video uh, approximately like two, three weeks ago at this point, right? Even Tomb Raider is becoming woke. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like they always say toxic masculinity, toxic gamers, toxic this, toxic that. Uh, gamers don't want to see a female characters. Nah, bruh, we want to see. We want to see female characters, but we want to see the real female characters and not like a female being changed to a man, though. You feel what I'm saying? That's what people don't want to see. People are worried uh, about GTA 6 too, that, you know what, uh, Jason is going to become stunning and brave, and, and Lucia is going to be strong, independent, and Lucia is going to manhandle Jason. Sick is, of course, hit that. Why would why would people not hit that? Brothers just want to see a strong male character. If you're going to have a male character, make him a good and male character. And if there's a female character, make her a strong female character. 
that's perfectly fine. But uh, Tomb Raider, of course, female protagonist game, right? It's uh, it has a female protagonist. Sick as love it. Sick as love it. Okay, like we love it. Everybody loves it. Everybody likes that. You know, you ever heard that? Everybody likes that. In the case of Tomb Raider, everybody did indeed like that. But not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I wonder why. I wonder why. I, I, of course, it's because like they're changing her as well it, it, to become stunning and brave. <laughs> if we can't agree on what the definition of war. Yeah, here, look at that. Look at that. Of course, this is like the older graphics and whatnot, but but still, you can see a lot of feminine traits, though. A lot of uh, and here, look at that. I'll, I'll put Fable here. You see this now? You see it? You see? You flat chest, flat chest. Yeah, so that's happening. Looks like that uh, she she has been in Breaking Bad or done like a like a session in Breaking Bad, uh, maybe a batch of blue or something like that. You, you see it, right? It looks like that done whole lot of Nesquik or something like that. God damn, god damn. Of course, people are gonna be mad, so they are changing the 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 the, the, the uh, and it's not even that they have made this character from scratch. They have changed the past character, which was perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a completely one thing to make a new character from scratch and like butcher it, okay? But it's like a whole new low when you had a perfectly fine character like Lara Croft in the past. I mean, even in the 19s or, or look at the graphics here. Look at the graphics, the 1800 graphics. When even in the 1800 graphics, you can see the character being good, right? So you took the 18, <laughs> not literally, I'm joking, but but to understand, uh, try to understand the point. Uh, they have took the perfectly fine 1800 graphics character to now this, bro. Of course, bro. Of course, people, uh, uh, fans are gonna be upset. You literally butchered it, dog. Words to appear in the dictionary are when we're showing you the dictionary definition. Man, you know, some of these things are just outside of what you're capable of. I yeah. love you guys to death. I can't. Watching normies. Guys, uh, you're not gonna believe what happened recently. Click on this, <laughs> this video on the screen. Xbox is now canceling Call of Duty. <laughs> It's not what you think, but they are canceling in a way. I don't. I want to tease it. I don't want to give you the full plot, right? I. Yeah, right. We don't have that much time. So check it out, and I'll see you there on the left. This video is on my second channel. Hey, second channel, guys. Second channel, and check it out.